Oh, what's up, boys? Holy moly. That, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the headphone users. Just got to wake it up. Bring some energy into the building. Anyways, what's up, guys? My name is Simon, and welcome back to Dear Simon, the series where you guys ask me for advice, and I give it to the best of my ability. As always, this video is in audio format only on Spotify. I just look up the Keep It Wholesome podcast. It should be there. But without further ado, let's hop into the first question. Dear Simon, lately death has been on my mind. I thought I'd be scared, but it's not scary anymore. The thought of it seems so welcoming. I've never wanted to set myself free this bad, but I don't know what to do anymore. First of all, taking your life is beyond a serious matter, and if you truly need some help, uh, I'm no therapist, so go, go seek help. There are a lot of different ways, there are a lot of methods to find help. The National Suicide Hotline is a great resource, so is Twiloha, they have a lot of resources there. But one thing I do know, I'm not a therapist, I'm only 18, I haven't had much experience in this world, probably not even qualified to give you any advice in this situation, but when you take your life to run away from the pain, that pain doesn't disappear, it just transfers on to the people you love. Now I hate to get all supernatural on you, but I believe pain is like energy, it can't be created or destroyed. Pain comes from somewhere, it always comes from somewhere. And it never just gets destroyed, it always leaves through a medium. I mean, if you think about it, most of your pain probably comes from other people. It might come from what they say about you, and then you store all that pain up, and you have nowhere to put it, and you feel like ending it, and getting rid of all that pain. I mean, it makes sense, you're being set free, essentially. But that pain, like energy, can't be destroyed, so it's gonna have to go somewhere. And it's gonna go to the people you love the most. And I can't sit here behind the screen and act like I know what you're going through, because I can't. I've never been at that point in my life where death feels so warm and welcoming. But it makes sense. I mean, excuse my profanity, but the world is fucked up right now. It is seriously messed up. So from a first glance, it almost seems like death is a very viable option. I mean, the world is so messed up. There are thousands of people dying per day. There are thousands of terrible things happening each day. Every time you turn on the news, there's something bad going on. Every time you open up your phone to Instagram, you find someone half your age, twice as successful, someone who's making more money than you'll ever make, someone that's more attractive than you. You find all these problems and you put it on yourself. There's something I, I heard on the Joe Rogan podcast that's kind of stuck with me is us humans have a negative bias. We tend to focus on the negative because back then when we were out there surviving, when we had sticks and stones in our hands, fending off the elements, when we were cavemen, we had to focus on the negatives because the negatives could kill us. But we're not cavemen anymore. The problem is we still focus on those negatives and they weigh heavily on our mental health. Something that I've been thinking about lately is that you never really understand what you have. You never really understand how to be grateful until that thing is gone. It's like that one song. Uh, only know the light when it's burning low or whatever. And Yeah, Let It Go. Is, is it called Let It Go by Passengers or something like that? Don't flame me in the comments if I got that wrong. But it's true. It's beyond true. Man, I was bumping that song in like fifth grade and I didn't even realize how deep it was. But it is so true that you never know what you have until it's gone. That's why people that get the closest to death always appreciate life a little more. And never have bad days because they suddenly realize how lucky they are to be alive. And I know it's going to take more than that to just put on a smile and be happy. And if you're in a bad place, maybe that's not what you want to hear, but it's the truth. And if you take your life, the most valuable thing that you have on you, there's no going back. It's permanent. No more second chances. No more sunrises and sunsets. No more funny moments with your friends. No more class. No more school. No more future job. No more future kids and family. None of that. That's all gone. That whole entire lifeline that you have planned out for your future is gone. And maybe it does get better in a year. Maybe it does get better in a couple of years. Or maybe it gets better in a couple of days. You never know. But I know it does get better. If most of the things that you're, you're upset about right now are things that you can't control, then don't put that on yourself. Put that on the universe. The universe is messed up, man. We're dealt cards, and sometimes those cards are terrible. Just the worst when we overcome the odds, when we become the people that we're destined to be, then all of a sudden we're so much more stronger than we were and we can tell our story. We can tell our story of how we survived and how we were dealt the worst cards possible, but we made it out. We can help influence future generations. I know that was kind of random, a ramble, but I felt it in my heart. Like I said, I can't sit here and act like I know everything about you, what you struggle with, but I can tell you that it will get better. 
and that I'm proud of you for getting this far, man. You may think you have bad luck, but the world is in your favor all the time. I mean, it's a 1 in 400 trillion chance that you're even alive. If a different sperm cell won the race, you'd be a totally different person. You're special. You're unique. You're an anomaly. You shouldn't even be here. Do you know how many things had to lead up to you watching this YouTube video? I think about this all the time. You had to have found this YouTube video or know me on TikTok or on a different platform. YouTube had to be created. All the technology leading up to everything that you're seeing on your screen right now had to be created by someone for you to be watching this video. Literally all of human history is working towards you seeing this video, so treat it as a sign. Keep going. I know it gets tough, man. It gets tough. But we don't know what's on the other side of death. Death is the most certain thing we have, but the most uncertain thing lies literally a millimeter away probably less than that but we'll never know and maybe we should experience a little more of life before we test those boundaries you're probably under 20 years old you have a lot of life left you're gonna have a lot more memories and a lot of things you haven't even experienced yet so live those out before you judge what the world is really about don't leave now because there's a whole world to be explored there's a bunch of people that you're gonna meet and become friends with and eventually settle down with there are a lot more amazing memories and you don't want to lose those I don't want you to lose those. So stay. I can't tell you what to do, but at least I can point you in the right direction. Stay. As always, keep it wholesome. Love you guys.